Hi, I'm Jody Davis, the Cuckoo Clock Designer. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pack up your clock, whether you need to ship it somewhere for repair or to give it to someone, or if you're going to be moving. If you're just going to kind of move from one room to another, I wouldn't worry about that. But if you're going to actually ship this or move as in moving your household, I'd be very careful to pack it properly. The thing that happens with cuckoo clocks is not only do the sounds keep happening in there, but the chains on the wheels come off. That's the most common problem. Once that happens, I find it very difficult to get them back on. My cuckoo clock guy, can Keith can just turn it upside down or whatever he does and it goes right on, but I can't do it. So let's just avoid some problems. You should always keep your original packing box because it has everything in there to hold the clock in place. Um, but if you don't, you can use another box, but you just want to wedge things in really well. So I'm going to assume that you already have your box, that you've kept your box, and I'm going to show you how to prepare the clock to put it in the box so that it'll be all in perfect shape when you open the box again to put it in its new home. To prepare your clock for shipping, you want to pull the weights up to the top and remove the pendulum and the weights. Remember this wire that we unpacked the clock with? If you still have that, use this. Otherwise, you can use another piece of wire or even a twist tie. They're a little thick with the plastic coating, but, but they work in a pinch. And so you just start putting them through one um, link of one wire, then through the circle part of one of the holders that holds the pine cone weight, and then through the next one. And then you've got those. So now I've got this little bag that originally the chains were stored in and I'm going to take the chains and starting from here just drop them in. Of course I would have this lower, I'm just doing this for the camera. And feed them in there. This will keep them nice and tidy. It's not, I mean, absolutely. The part that we did is the most important part so that the chains can't fall back off of the sprockets in there, off the teeth of them, which means a trip to the cuckoo doctor. So you feed the chains all the way into this little bag, get them nice and up there, and then roll it up. And then you can use a rubber band if you want, um, like came with the clock, or just use the wire or both and just twist that around there. Now we're ready to take the clock off the wall. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the little wire here to keep the cuckoo door closed so that he can't come in and out. And then I'm going to turn the clock over and open the back door. And of course I've remembered to save these little keepers for the bellows. So I'm going to slip them on. And here's the other one. And then you remember how for the gong there was this piece of paper? That's just to keep it from making so much noise. And then I put the back door back on the clock and close it. There, now it's all ready for packing. It really is best to have the original box because it fits perfectly and will hold it real well for shipping. But if you don't, you can see what you have to do. You need to be able to wedge it so that it can't move. And now I'm going to put the weights back in and the pendulum. And now the clock is ready to go safely to wherever it's going. <laughs> so there you have it. Your clock is all ready to ship or go to its new home. Thanks so much and enjoy your cuckoo clock.